Hello, I am going to be talking all things toilet positioning, and so that includes stools, ladders, seat inserts, and then also the important step of how to measure your toilet and the height of the stool that you will need to make sure that you can get your child into a great position for toileting. Hello from my bathroom. I'm sorry that I had to record this vertically. Um, none of my bathrooms have the adequate space to be able to record horizontally while still being able to show you my upper body and my posture, which is very important. But first, I'd like to just point out what toilet positioning looks like without any kind of supporting device. And so what that looks like is knees are typically below the level of hips. Um, sometimes feet can be dangling depending on the toilet height or the person's height, or in this case, your child's height. Um, or reaching down with their toes to point their toes towards the floor. All of those things are things that we want to avoid. When you do find yourself or your child in a location um, that you don't have a stool with you, things that you can do um, to be helpful for the position to help evacuate completely is forward bending so that elbows are napped down by your knees. Um, and for little ones, scooting their bottom back on the toilet might give them more surface contact with the toilet seat, which might help them feel more supported and ultimately can relax better. When you do look to add a stool to your bathroom routine, there are several things to consider. The first is that each toilet and each stool has a unique height. So knowing your toilet height is going to be important so that you can choose the correct stool. And the process to measure for the stool that you want to get is fairly simple. So you're going to raise your knees, or if you're measuring for your child, you're going to raise your child's knees to the desired height so that they can appropriately relax their upper body with their elbows on their knees. And then once you have their knee at that height that you want them at, then you measure between the bottom of their feet and the floor. And that tells you how high of a stool they should have to be able to support them in the best position for toileting for their unique body on that unique toilet. There are oodles of options when it comes to toileting supportive devices um, to bring into your child's toileting routine. So I'm just gonna go over a few today. The first option I wanna show you is the beloved Squatty Potty. Squatty Potty has a ton of different options on their website. This one in particular is their bamboo option and what I like about this is that um, it is essentially two stools in one. One side is a seven inch and one side is a nine inch. So if you want the shorter side, you um, place it in one direction. And then if you want the higher stool, you just flip it around and use the higher end. Um, and that gives you a higher stool. This particular toilet with the nine inch stool is actually a little bit too high for my comfort. And so right now my knees are much higher than what I prefer when I'm going to the bathroom. The tricky part to finding a stool for your child to use on the toilet is that every person has a different preferred position. Um, so some kids might like their knees much higher than others. Um, the, the really important thing to keep in mind is that the, the range that we like to recommend is no lower than at the level of the hips and really not much higher than the level of like the belly button or the lower part of the rib cage. So in addition to the toilet specific stools that are manufactured, you could also look into getting a step stool that are often made to help kids reach the sink for teeth brushing or washing their hands. These tend to be a little bit higher. So um, toileting stools tend to be between seven and nine inches or so. Um, these step stools get upwards of 10 to 13 inches, so they are a little bit higher, which is nice when you're working with a younger child with shorter legs. For little, little ones, especially if you're doing um, earlier potty training, closer to 18 months to two years, maybe a little bit beyond that to two to three years, are ladders. Ladders are a great option because they um, provide a couple different supports in one, so they provide a stool and a seat insert. And so the, um, the seat insert provides them extra support with their bottom so that they don't feel as wobbly on a large toilet seat with a tiny little bottom while also providing a stool. Um, gives them some independence to be able to climb up on their own. Um, the challenge though is finding a ladder that has a stool, the, the foot support, that's high enough 
that reaches a child that young. So this one in particular is a little bit lower by about three inches from that um, larger step stool that we looked at earlier. Um, there is one option, and I'll, I'll link that um, to the video, that has a, it's a ladder that has a seat insert and as well as a higher foot position, which is really, really great. Don't underestimate the value of a seat insert. So whenever we sit on something that isn't appropriately sized for our body, we feel unstable. So if you sit on a balance beam um, so that you're sitting on the, the narrow side, you're going to feel a little bit wobbly side to side. That's how a child feels when they sit on a toilet seat that is not appropriately sized for their bottom. And so what a seat insert does is it gives them the stability so that they can relax on the toilet. And with that full relaxation with their posture, their pelvic floor and anus and bottom are able to appropriately relax to allow full evacuation of poop and pee. So I spoke earlier about how a ladder combines a seat insert with um, a stool. So here's a setup that might work too. If you're not interested in a ladder, you can do a seat insert, um, which goes onto your toilet when you flip up both the, the toilet lid and the seat, and then you can use that higher um, step stool. Another option is to install a toilet seat that has a seat insert built in. So ours in particular has a magnet, which keeps the little seat up into the larger lid and then also has soft close, which is definitely bonus points for us. The negative to these particular seat inserts that are installed, the convenience is super great. However, there are no handles. And so if a child is looking for a little bit additional support, a seat insert with handles might be more appropriate for that particular child. Floor potties are probably the best option for little, little kids. So if you're doing things like elimination communication from zero to 18 months, or if your child is um, just a particularly small child in their stature, a floor potty might be more appropriate. They are probably the smallest seat circumference that you can find, um, as well as having a, a built-in uh, stool because they're so close to the floor. Um, they do come in lots of different sizes, so this um, Baby Bjorn has a couple different options. Um, the gray has an insert that's removable so you can dump into the toilet. Um, the smaller white one is much, much smaller, um, which we used with our son when he was closer to 8, 9, 10 months old. I would love to know what products you're using and um, if you have something that's not listed here, um, what you love and why you love it. Every child has different needs when they're sitting on the toilet, so different products are going to support children in different ways. So share what you're using, and maybe we can share it with another family that might benefit from the product that you've found that fits your, your family.